fact, but we have child, but it's in reverse. One and eight break it down to a nine. So there is um, definitely an ending. There's a new chapter that's about to start. Mm -hmm. A new beginning, okay. So maybe somebody was being real childish before, okay. But now that is ending. Give me more. Mm. I'm also picking up intuitive. I know what the card says, but in my nose picture. Intuitive, I'm picking up. Somebody could be very childish, okay? Maybe somebody didn't want to change. Maybe somebody didn't want to, um, somebody didn't want to change their ways. Give me more home spirit. Yeah, good news. There's a new beginning for you, okay? There's a new beginning here for you. <clears throat> You're about to get some type of communication, text, emails, or some type of documents, or phone calls, or letter. Um, something is going to be good. Good news for you, okay? Somebody could have been being very childish. Maybe somebody didn't want you to receive this good news with a seven being on this card. Something speaks about completion. Something speaks about ending. Also, um, with the seven, it also give me like you know, guard rest on a seven day. Happy set, um, happy Sunday. I'm sorry, happy Sunday. So something that you it could have been worrying you, you could have been having anxiety or wasn't at ease about. There's some type of good news that's coming in, and it could be in regards to your wealth. Something is going to be taken care of when it, in regards to your wealth. So if you was waiting on some type of money, yeah, poverty and marriage, okay. Maybe you was married to someone or in a long-term relationship, okay? Um, <clears throat> but there's some type of sudden wealth that's coming in. Yeah, there's some type of... It's like you get a fresh new start. If somebody doesn't... Somebody else, maybe not. Okay, so see, Something in regards to your wealth, okay? If something is a new beginning, okay? If you was going through uh, poverty or was going through some type of financial issues that is coming to an end, Yes, manifestation. Something that you're manifesting is definitely coming in. Um, yeah, three and nine break it down. So what's that, uh, 12? I believe, yeah. So with three, yeah, your angels are supporting you and guiding you at this time. Okay, some type of manifestations is definitely coming in for you. Give me one more, Holy Spirit. Yeah, we have Playmate. Like somebody who played games don't want to play games anymore. Somebody who was very childish, okay. Somebody is tripping on you, okay. They could be want to contact you, communicate with you because they don't want something to end. Um, somebody could also be aware that you have some type of manifestation coming in in regards to your wealth, okay. And now they want to play fair with you, okay. Now they want to support you. They want to be here for you, okay. Yeah, because they see you as fulfillment. <clears throat> yeah, it's like somebody want to make something right with you before before you walk out or walk out of their life or something that's over with. Yeah, nine of pentacles. Um, you could be choosing to be single at this time uh, within five years. So maybe you were single for up to five years or maybe you was going through something with someone for up to five years. Emperor, okay, you could be dealing with an Aries, a Virgo. I see the lovers. You could be dealing with a Gemini. So you could be choosing to leave like a marriage or a commitment to someone you was in and deciding to be single. Maybe you were going through something up to five years with someone. Um, this could be someone you shared a child with or maybe somebody with the um, child in reverse and good news would see something well. Maybe somebody was uh, withholding some money from you. Maybe things was hard. It was difficult for you. I do see you getting good news. You, you get in what's coming in that's old to you. Okay, some type of manifestation that you've been manifesting is definitely... Um, it's coming here, okay? I feel like someone knows that someone that something is going in your favor, and now they want to come in and play fair. They want to, uh, they want to make things right, okay? What's this child in reverse, Holy Spirit? Someone is seeing you as fulfillment, okay? Just make sure whoever this person is, just make sure um, somebody is not coming in because they see you as very beneficial, far as your wealth, okay? This person sees you in alignment. They see you as satisfaction. They see you happy. Um, somebody also could feel like you're doing well without them. 
Okay. Or this could just be somebody who just you don't who don't want to play these games anymore. You know, they just wanna they wanna make things right. And this could have just been, you know, after you decided to pull your energy back and walk away from somebody and decide to be single. And now somebody could just be, you know, that could have been a wake-up call. What's the child in reverse? The child in reverse. The child in reverse. <clears throat> child in reverse holy spirit will of fortune something is changing something is changing and i feel like whatever this changes is a new beginning for you sun seeds okay you was dealing with a period of time where you was going through things um that's no longer that's no longer going to be uh i heard your path okay the will of fortune speaks about faith destiny you know being on the good side of karma good luck um, good, you know, just good karmas. Um, some type of fortune, or you know, some type of um, some type of thank you spirit, some type of change that's coming into your life right now is a fresh new start, is a fresh new beginning. Um, and somebody could have been trying to prevent this good news from coming to you, this manifestation from coming in and starting well. But um, I feel like you recognize something. You recognize something. You could be just be recognizing that you are fulfillment. Okay, and somebody could be recognizing that, and they could be imprisonment, trapped in their head. Okay, this could definitely be somebody you was in a relationship with, main female, main male, past life. This could be somebody who you share a past life connection with that could have definitely came to an ending. Somebody could be definitely be in their head about it because they see you as a sweetheart. Okay, with the long road, you could have put distance between this person, um, enemy. <clears throat> so you could definitely have some enemies, okay, some seeds, some haters, some frenemies, some competitors, you know, people who don't like you, people who don't really care for you, maybe these people feel like you're very, with the will of fortune and the art rate, you're very fortunate, you get, you know, good luck, you're very blessed, and you know, that just comes along with it, okay, um, I do see you taking a high roll, okay, um, yeah, and somebody is in their feelings about it because somebody could have wanted to cause you some type of worry or doubt or make you feel some type of way, but I see you being unaffected by it because you realize somebody is childish as hell. You could see through them like a glass, <laughs> like this glass table, you could just see through them. They're very childish, and you know you got the divine support all around you. Divine support and occupation, this can be in regards to like a job or something like that or... um. I just feel like you just, you know, you just going forward, you know? Maybe you got haters at your job or, you know, people who you, um, if this is not a job, this could be people who you want to work with, okay? People could be jealous about this divine support that you have around you. They could be seeing you as this wealthy woman, get the money. I can't make it up. There's some type of fortune and wealth. People could be feeling like you're very wealthy, you're very fortunate. And it could be causing some type of jealousy around that because people could be in poverty. Maybe they in lack confirmation. I don't know if you hear that. You hear it? Confirmation. It's like people who don't want to see you go forward. These are people who are in lack, feeling some type of way, and study working on themselves. They're looking at you. They're watching you. And they don't want you to have something. But with the will of fortune of being in, in, in upright, that's beyond them. You know, this is the universe saying, no, this is this is meant for you to happen. Yeah, six of wands under the bottom. Some type of success and victory. Okay? We got the king of wands under the bottom as well. So there's some type of leadership role. Um, something you're being presented with because you're very loyal. Um, yeah, I just see you taking charge. You know, somebody, yeah, six of swords. Okay? You could be leaving... Um, leaving someone behind just moving away to common waters okay yeah somebody is very jealous about what you do for work somebody doesn't like what you do for work they feel like you're very fortunate you're very you know um your manifestation just come within uh, you know i heard come from I'm, okay i'm gonna say your manifestation just come in but spirits say like your manifestations come from within okay so you manifest from within, and you know when you the beauty, the most beautiful is um, way to manifest is through your heart chakra. So whoever you are, whoever these people that don't like you or are jealous of you or whoever was childish playing these baby ray games with you, you know love will always outright hate. Okay. Yeah, ten of cups to the five of pentacles. 
Okay, so somebody doesn't want to see you happy. Somebody want to see you out in the cold. Okay. <clears throat> yeah, but the star. Yeah, the star in three years, queen of wands. Like, somebody could have been trying to comfort you for about three years. Somebody doesn't like the way you shine. Okay. What's the child and will of fortune? Child in reverse the will of fortune. Yeah, hermit. Virgo energy. <clears throat> I feel like you went within and did some type of soul searching. Okay, we got two nines here. Like I said, you definitely embrace a new chapter in your life with the Will of Fortune being here with this type with this change that's coming in. Okay, what's the hermit? Hermit. It's like somebody is jealous. Like somebody's watching you and clocking your pockets. Somebody feels like you're lucky, you're fortunate, you know. Give me more. Somebody could have even trying to cause some type of ending to some type of good news that you're getting. You know, what's the hermit? The hermit. Somebody is mad because there's an ending and you're leaving someone behind and they feel some type of way. We have the hermit to the four wands and then we have the five of cups. Okay, so there's definitely a relationship or commitment to what you was in. Um, someone, a four of wands speaks about commitment, relationship, celebration, five of cups. So you could have definitely, like I said before, you could have definitely ended a relationship with someone at Sunsees and decided to be single. Maybe you was going through something with someone up to five years, up to three years, and you decided to put your energy back. And someone is in regret about it because they won't be, when this good news come in, this manifestation, they won't be celebrating with you. They can't have none of this. Okay? Um, I feel like there's somebody who, was a, who played a lot of games with you. And now someone, you know, someone who wasn't, Someone who possibly didn't take this connection serious between you guys, Sun Seeds. Okay? This person had hidden motives. Okay? This person thought things was all a game. And I feel like you decided to say, okay, well, I'm going to just, you know, I could do bad by myself. I'm going to focus on me, you know, and my manifestations. And maybe somebody was, you know, trying to be childish and, you know, send you the evil eye or try to affect your work or try to, you know, affect your manifestations and, None of that's working because with the will of fortune and the upright spirit is saying something is part of your destiny. You're not meant to be unhappy. You're not meant to be in poverty. You're not meant to, you know, um, be someone who's not, you know, having some type of major um, impact on humanity. Okay, with the star card, um, I did see earlier, then the king of wands. There's some type of leadership role. Like It's like somebody... They thought they was affecting you to try to get in between of your manifestations, but it wasn't. It was never you because you didn't pay it no mind. You kept operating from a from a heart space, so it was always love with you. The hate was just always with them. So it wasn't them getting getting between of you know affecting you. Thank you, spirit. It wasn't them affecting you. What they was actually getting in, in the um, coming in between was the universe. The universe is bigger than all of us. So. It's like the universe said, I said what I said. If this person is meant to have something or this person is meant to do something, then that's exactly what they're going to do. Well, occupation and divine support, they have my whole back end. You understand? So somebody was thinking it was coming against one person when they got the whole divine behind them. You know? And with this relationship with the four wands and the five of cups, somebody is, is feeling the loss of you being gone. Okay? Yeah. And this is someone who has ghosted you. They regret ghosting you, okay? If this is someone you ghosted, okay? This is someone who's, like, literally going with it and they realizing that you was a sweetheart. You never even deserved that. Five of Pentacles under the bottom. Something could have happened a year ago, okay? Or somebody could have been trying to cause some type of poverty issues for somebody for up to a year, okay? Um, You could have been contemplating for a year since you, you know, should you leave a relationship or connection behind, um, I feel like you was advised by spirit to do so with the lovers and do it. You decided to make a choice, okay? Um, nine of Cups. It's like now, you know, um, some type of wish fulfillment is coming in for you. It's like somebody, what somebody was bringing in, it wasn't stable, it wasn't solid. It's like you was the only one that was solid here. You was the only one that was stable. You was the only one that was trying to make things work with this individual. And now that you have pulled your energy back, someone is in regret about it. Yeah, somebody is, is was childish and they, they 
they feel some type of way about a new start that you're getting, so I see. What's the good news? The good news? Good news. The good news is the uh, full card. Okay, so the full card with zero being on here is new beginning, okay? You're getting a fresh new beginning, a new beginning, okay? Yeah, four pinnacles. Now, somebody could also be feeling like a fool because they're wishing that they would have held on to you, you know? What's under the bottom? Yeah, we have weight, proceed with caution, and two of swords. So something about the timing could have been quite right. Page of wands, light of cups. Somebody could be wanting to come in and message you, date you, court you. They could be wanting to come in and play fair at this time. I don't see the six of cups out here, um, but this could have been in the past. But somebody could be wanting to message you with the page of wands, light of wands. You know, can we start over? Can we have a fresh new beginning? Um, I do, because I've heard earlier theaters and movies and tickets. So somebody could be wanting to ask you out on a date. Three of Swords. Yeah, Three of Swords, Nine of Pentacles. Somebody could have definitely have hurt you, okay? And you decided to take it slow. Um, you know, just move forward with your life. So maybe you didn't break it over with this person just say, you know, I don't want a relationship. Maybe you decided to take it slow and say, you know what, I'm, I'm open. You know, I'm open to be your friend, but, or this could even be a friend. You're like, you know, I don't want to make enemies with this person. You know, so it's giving me like, you know, you played the like chess. <laughs> you played the safe. Maybe you know this person was very vindictive. You know this person, is, you know how this person comes. So, you know, this person hurt you, but somebody want to come in and, 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 and fix things. Yeah, they see you as the star card. They wish us to heal this with you. The fool to the four of pentacles. This somebody feels like a fool for not, you know, for not holding on to you. Somebody don't want you to get away. What's the, what's the, what's the, um, uh, give me another card on the fool. Yeah, because they see you as the nine of pentacles fulfillment. And would get the money, somebody see you. Um, you know, the Nine of Pentacles speaks about someone who's very independent, self-sufficient, very grounded. Um, this is someone who's very self-made. Um, you know, there's nothing codependent about you. Possibly, um, you know, you guys can be, um, very, you know, you can be celibate. You know, someone who's very focused on yourself right now. You know, wealthy woman, occupation, maybe you're focused on your work, okay? And I feel like with the divine support here, I feel like you have that divine support backing you up because somebody, you know, their intentions wasn't pure. What's the full part to the four of pentacles? Maybe with the hermit to the four of wands, you could have possibly moved, relocated. Somebody don't even know where you live. You just ghosted the environment. You just ghosted the home. You just left. Okay, somebody can even possibly be looking for you. What's the fool to the four pentacles? Thank you, Holy Spirit. Yep, two of cups. Somebody, the fool, the four pentacles, the two of cups. Somebody feels like a fool for not holding on to you. Whoever this person you share a soulmate connection with, and a soulmate could be anybody. Three of, three of cups, this could be a friend connection. Maybe somebody is, you know, for those type of way. Maybe somebody is wishing that they would have appreciated you more as a friend um, or a lover. We have the Devil card, Nine of Swords, Capricorn energy here, um, Cancer energy, okay, Aquarius energy, Virgo energy, Scorpio energy. But with the Nine of Swords to the Devil, it's like somebody uh, is like, they're obsessively in their head. The devil to the nine of swords. This person is in their head a lot. Okay. Um, they're in a deep, you know, deep thought about this connection. Five of wands. They could have definitely caused some type of conflict or put you in competition. Or just, you know, made things very challenging for you. What's the three of cups? But I do see a reconciliation here. Somebody wants to come in and reconcile. Um, they want to make things right. What's the Three of Cups, Holy Spirit? Three of Cups. 
for the color like the sun seed. Three of cups. What's the three of cups energy? Oh, that's a lot, Holy Spirit. <laughs> okay, so we have the nine of wands. We have the knight of pentacles. So this is somebody who's not trying to give up. Not the one by the pinnacle. This is somebody who's not trying to give up. Okay, um, they might um, been slow to come in to reconcile with you, but this is somebody who has not given up on you. Maybe you, like I said, you could have put this behind you, but this is somebody who's just like, no, I'm not giving up. Okay, I know I've been slow to come in. Uh, maybe you haven't had no contact with this person. You haven't talked to this person in a while, but they with the devil card to the six of pinnacles. Um, This is somebody who, um, like I said, they obsessively think about you a lot, okay? Um, possibly could even just, this person can be addicted to you with the Six of Pentacles. Um, I feel like this is someone you gave to at one point in time, whether it was your money, your time, your energy. Six of Pentacles is not always about money, it's, it's years, okay? So somebody could have, with the devil to the Six of Pentacles, somebody could have been doing something for years, you know, to you, and you finally decided, you know, that you was gonna stand your ground and you know, um, you wasn't gonna take this mess anymore. You wasn't gonna give to this person anymore. You was gonna choose you. We have the one and five breaking down to a six on the devil card, and then we have the six of pentacles. So we have six, six, six. So maybe with the um you could have definitely decided to slow down and you know reflect a bit with the hermit. Okay, will of fortune to the hermit. Maybe you decided to slow down and reflect a bit on this or uh, you know, on the situation. Um, yeah, nine of wands to the knight of pentacles. You definitely slow down and reflect on the situation. Um, and I feel like now you're, you're just, you know, you're, you're standing your ground. You, this is somebody who you don't want to give to anymore. Yeah, Spirit said that's a yes. You don't want to give to it anymore. Page of Swords. Um, it could be a lot of gossip. It, somebody could have spread rumors about you. Um, it could be a lot of people watching you, studying you. You know, just like they want to, you know, they want to know what's going on with you. Okay. This could have even been somebody who who who, who talked foul upon you, or you know, um, you know, said things about you that weren't true. And they could have stung with the page of swords. They, you know, they, whoever they was spreading rumors to, they could have said whatever they said to these people. And it's like now these people are watching you, and they realizing like, nah, this person is actually good news. This person is, you know, they got the divine support back in them. Okay, whatever their occupation is, they're very dedicated to it. Wealthy woman and get the money. Somebody's doing very well for themselves. Okay, or oh, that's what they're working towards. They're very dedicated to and their fulfillment. It's like somebody is seeing somebody. I won't be surprised the five of swords. Somebody seeing somebody as very jealous. What's the devil energy? Yeah. Energy, Holy Spirit. Thank you. Yeah, force towards something came to rest. Okay. Yeah, the justice card. Okay. It was just karma. Yeah. It was just karma with the justice to the chariot. So we have cancer um, energy and, 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 and um cancer energy and Libra energy out here. Something was just karma for something to come to rest and you for you to move forward. Okay. Page of Pentacles, Three of Pentacles. Somebody could be getting readings done. Um, you know, yeah, Three of Pentacles, Page of Pentacles. Somebody could be getting readings done. Um, trying to get some spell work to bring you back to them. You know, for you to work with them. Yeah, Ten of Pentacles of the Empress, man. Listen, Empress, you like, listen, honey. I'm telling you, some type of sudden wealth is coming in for you. Big, okay? Somebody could be knowing. Somebody could be even getting readings done. Somebody could even be trying to tap in your, you know, um, trying to see what's coming to you. Um, I don't see the three of wands, but I'm seeing it in my third eye. Somebody could be trying to see what's coming in for you or just um, trying to, you know, tap into your current energy. Okay, this could definitely be a, re um, I heard a reader. This could be a, somebody getting a reading. But with the seven of swords being here, um, somebody is being real sneaky. Okay. Queen of Pentacles, the higher friend, and King of Pentacles. This can be somebody you was married to, or you was in a relationship with, or somebody who you shared a family with, or this can actually be a family. Okay? Yeah. Um, Queen of Swords, this could be an air sign. Okay? Two of Pentacles. Yeah. You could be deciding that, nah, I'm not going to deal with somebody who want to juggle me, you know. You know your worth. Yeah, the world card. Okay? 
But with the Empress and Ten of Pentacles, you could be a uh, you could be a Taurus, okay, or um, or Libra. But yeah, I just I just feel like you got big things coming in. Um, something with just sudden wealth. We seen earlier with the good news. There's a large sum of money that's coming in for someone. Big, 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 real big, okay. But whatever came to rest with the Justice card, it was just calm. It was meant to happen. The universe that it was meant to happen with the chariot was meant for you to move forward, okay? And somebody's just jealous and they are mad, okay? Somebody could be mad because of what you have coming in or whatever you make, you know, for work, okay? Maybe this person is not doing well. Maybe something came to rest with their finances and their money because they was coming against somebody who's very chosen, somebody who has divine support. It's just giving jealousy. What's the um the um justice card? Please and thank you. The justice card. But I feel like you took the high road, you know? You come from a heart space. You know, you operate out of your heart space, so the you know the heart will, you know, love will always outride the hate. If somebody is feeling some type of way, and you know, like I said, this could be somebody who was hating on you before or very deceptive before, and now they want to come in and make things right because they see you winning. Empress um, Ten of Pentacles, Justice card is clarified with the Nine of Swords. Yeah, if somebody is all in head, having obsessive thoughts about you. Okay, this could actually be like an energy of projection as well. You might be even picking up on this person's energy. Okay, but there's a lot of regret and remorse here. Okay, about um, somebody could be with the justice to the knowledge towards somebody could be focused on the past, what they did to you. Yeah, judgment. Judgment to the page of swords I just seen. So like I said, it could be a lot of people that... You know, it's watching you, maybe people who, who they gossip to, and they could be with the page of swords to the judgment. People could be awakening to the fact that somebody was just actually jealous. What's the chariot? The chariot? The chariot is clarified with the Queen of Pentacles. Yeah, I just see you moving, you moving forward to big and better things, okay? King of Swords under the bottom, three of swords, and five of swords. Yeah, there's an air sign. Um that feels defeated or someone who's very jealous okay because um you're moving forward towards your manifestations okay you turned your back on the situation <clears throat> after seeing the truth okay and you're and, and you're winning you're winning okay Taurus Virgo Capricorn energy what's the nine of swords nine of swords nine of swords Thank you. Something could have been going on for like five years. Yeah, but that cycle is over with. Yeah, the four cups. Somebody is disappointed. The nine of cups. This something could be somebody over indulging. Maybe this person that have like some type of substance abuse. You know, be you know, but um, the eight of wands. Something is coming in quickly for you. Yeah. This is somebody who feels like they missed out on an opportunity with you because they was being very childish before. Yeah. Somebody could be watching your wishes come true, Sunseeds. You know? They could be wishing that they, they, didn't go, they didn't go against you. Actually, they should have worked with you because you had a divine support backing you up. You know? What's man-made? Man-made is nothing compared to the divine support. Okay? I feel like the universe, God, divine, chose you. They chose you. Somebody is definitely jealous with this five of swords, with the eight of wands. Things are taking off quickly for you. Maybe somebody didn't like the fact that, okay, um, you know, this could be you in a job field, and, you know, um, somebody could have felt like they've been here longer or they have more experience, and then you came in and things took off quickly for you. Mm. What's the manifestation? Yeah, eight of swords. What's the eight of swords? Yeah, somebody is in, in feeling imprisoned. Somebody in the head about some type of manifestation that's coming in for you. Yeah. Ace of Cups, because you're chosen. Okay? For some of you guys, if you know, um, for you know, for most of you guys who are single. Um, you have new love that's coming in for you. For others of you guys, um, where you was having, um, you know, relationship problems with someone or you wasn't on good terms with it, you know, with this person, there's somebody who has to come in and express their feelings and their emotions for you, how they want to start over. 
Yeah, Ace of Wands. Look at this. You're getting a whole new beginning. Yeah, somebody was trying to get you to sabotage, um, you know, sabotage something that's beautiful that's coming in for you. Somebody wanted you to have you have you on your head, worry, stressed. Somebody knows that you're a powerful manifester. Ace of Cups, Ace of Wands. You don't have nothing to worry about. There's a new beginning that's coming in, okay? You ain't got nothing to worry about, okay? Look at this. Empress, Ten of Pentacles, Ace of Cups, Ace of Wands. Yeah, this is somebody like this real childish and petty. Like, this is somebody who just... You know, and that's why they're not accepted for a leadership role. Now, don't get me wrong. This could be someone who has the potential to be a leader, but you, the potential is not good enough. Like I told you guys before, like two other readings, you know, potential is only the future, you know, but we have to go by what we see right now. Somebody is very childish. Um, they have a jealous spirit. Um, they don't want to see anyone get ahead. You know, it's enough pinnacles out here for the world for everybody to get some you know um and, and and it's not just that it's just like with the star card somebody something about guidance and doing something for humanity when you're doing something for the universe for humanity it's bigger than you somebody is so focused just on one person and just and study focused on the collective you know and that's why like i said somebody might have the potential to do something but right now in this moment they're not ready because of how, how they're treating you and what they're doing to you, you know? Even when we think we're not being watched, we're being watched. So with the page of swords that keep popping up, when they're watching you, they're being watched. And that's what they're not realizing. They're being watched. The universe is watching them. So while they're sending people to watch you all the time, or they're watching you, they're being watched. You know, there's somebody who doesn't want to play fair. Um, they think that they old, things are old to them. They just... You know, um, it's it just, it's just the way how this person thinks, it, it just doesn't sit right with the universe. Queen of Swords, okay, that's the truth, you know. There's somebody, if they feel like they're not winning, um, there's somebody who doesn't want anybody else to win around them. But with the Will of Fortune being the first card out, I'm just like, somebody feels like they was going up against you, but... You was coming, you still operating at the heart, out of your heart space, you know? And so it was all love with you, you know? But even though you seen the pettiness with the child card in reverse, even though you seen the pettiness of this person, you were still operating at a loving place. This person thought they was coming against you, but they weren't. They was getting in between in the universe because there's assignment on someone's life, the Ace of Cups. You know what I'm trying to say, Sunsets? Yeah, Page of Pentacles. Seven of Cups. Somebody could have even been trying to confuse confuse someone, okay? Confuse multiple people about you. Someone is very jealous. They're very petty. It's the energy that really needs to grow up. And until they grow up, you know, until they grow up, they will not be in a position that you're being you're being suited and booted for, okay? Because this, this takes growth. It's a lot of queens in the deck. And we see, well, I see the, the um, well, I don't think it was coming up with the Queen of Swords, but it's, a, it's four queens in a deck. But the, look at Big Empress. Look at you. Empress to the Pentacles. Okay? You know? This is somebody who's been through every, every, everything you could imagine. Four queens. Just imagine. Four queens going through everything. Okay? To get to this Empress energy. Okay? And it's not just about getting to the Empress energy. It's also about staying there. Okay, because when you go to this Empress energy, baby, I'm just telling you from experience, and I know a lot of you guys put in the comments, you can vouch for me. You get you get hit a lot, you know, because a lot of people want to take you down off your throne. They they, they want to bring you down. It's, you could get to the Empress energy, but it takes a lot to stay there. Okay, if somebody wants to bring you off of this 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 this, this, uh, this comfy chair, you know, you like no, I, I like it here. I love it here. It's comfy. <laughs> uh, you're not letting somebody come down, may bring you down. You're not. For what? For what? You worked your behind off. You went through a lot to get to this Empress energy. Okay? You're not letting someone take you down. You're not letting someone take you down from here. You can see through them like a glass, like this glass here. Yeah, look what the bottom. The star to the Emperor. I know that's right. You definitely have a divine connection that's coming in. Two of Wands, okay? Somebody is definitely about to take some type of action towards you. 
Okay? Like I said, if you have if you've been single for a while, you have new love that's coming in. Ooh, confirmation. Um, for others of you guys, I feel like something been at a standstill with the weight and five of wands. You could have definitely been um, experiencing some type of spiritual warfare. And it was only because whoever these energies are, um, you know, they was feeling some type of way. And it's gonna be different for you know all you guys. So take you know, take what resonates, Susie. What's the playmate? Somebody played a lot of a lot of games, and it's like they you know they they play these games and and, and how they say it, you know um, and then they hide their hand. Queen of Cups, okay. Playmate is clarified with Queen of Cups. Like somebody play a lot of games. Page of Cups in reverse, and it's somebody who's not even sorry. They not even sorry. This somebody who's mean. <laughs> they not even sorry, sussy. Let me let my call into again. They not even sorry. Like that's what I'm saying. This somebody who just like. Mm, they very, very childish. They got a lot of growing up to do, okay? Maybe this person definitely has some type of childhood wounds they need to heal or something that they have gone through that they need to heal from. And, you know, um, like most of us, you know, we all experience something. We all have a testimony or experience something, um, you know, that we had to grow and heal from. But, you know, you know when someone has grown and healed by their response to things, the way how they react to things. Whoever this person is, Queen of Cups and Page of Cups, in, in reverse, they're not even sorry. They're not even sorry. This somebody who just doesn't want to see you win. But um, you have a connection that's coming in, a beautiful connection. Okay, what's the Page of Cups in reverse? Thank you, Holy Spirit. Six of Swords and the Lovers. Okay. So this is someone who you're moving away from. You see, you, you just you just you just see them as childish, very childish. They're not apologetic. They know what they're doing. You're moving forward with your life. You're moving away to common water. Six of Swords, you're being guided to, and I feel like you was being guided, like we seen earlier. You was being guided to let go of a connection, or just, you know, just, just, you know, don't even, you know, look, you know, give it give it any attention because someone wants your attention and they're not gonna get it. With the lovers card. The six of swords, I feel like um, you was being guided to make a choice. And you know, whatever you put your energy to, it grows, okay? Somebody was throwing rocks. I think that's how you say it, throwing rocks and hot in their hand. And it's very obvious. I wouldn't be surprised if I see the high priestess. You're very intuitive. You know, three of swords to the two of swords. Somebody is very jealous. Two of swords to the three of swords. Somebody is very jealous. And they wanted to cause some type of heartbreak to you and block something for you because they see you winning. They just see you as fulfillment. Okay? What's the lovers? Gemini energy, Cancer Pisces Scorpio energy. Okay. Something could have been going on for six months. What's the with it? Yeah, Knight of Swords. So some, something about to come in quick. Okay? Something about to come in very, very quick. It could be less than goddamn six months. Something is coming in quick. Okay? You could be meeting someone while you're out traveling. Okay? For a lot of you guys, um, you could be, you could have relocated. Like I said, you could have definitely ghosted the whole situation and moved away. Okay? Yeah, somebody is definitely trying to, like, get readings done on you. For real. What's the night of swords? Whoever you walked away from, this could be somebody who's definitely trying to, like, get readings done to see what your next move is, what's coming in for you. What's the next words? Thank you, Holy Spirit. The temperance and the hangman. I just feel like you just, you know, at this time, Spirit is saying, you know, just have patience, okay? Have patience. Because the hangman being here, somebody could have definitely been, like I said, behind the scenes trying to delay something for you. Queen of Wands, Eight of Pentacles. Okay, what's this? The King of Cups to the Queen of the Queen of Swords. Yeah, there was somebody behind the scenes that was trying to delay something um, for you in regards to your work, in regards to your love life. Yeah, but I just I, I, whoever this person is, um, they're about to get dealt with. They're about to get dealt with. Okay, Spirit is saying, yeah. This this situation is calling for you to have patience. Okay, and I feel like for what I'm picking up on. I feel like you already had patience for a while. So with that, thank you. With the tempers to the hangman, thank you, spirit. If you was delayed with anything, okay, it's coming in. Knight of Swords, it's about to take off real quick, okay? It's about to take off real quick, okay? Very quick. 
Okay, yeah, do it, yes. <laughs> Something's about to take over real quick. Give me a card on this King of Cups. King of Cups. Ten of Cups. Ten of Cups. Ten of Cups. Five of Pentacles. King of Wands. So somebody is unhappy. Um... Somebody is five, ten of cups to five of pentacles. Somebody is unhappy because they feel out in the cold. They know you're going to some happiness. They know you're going to be happy. Um, somebody is upset because of uh, some type of promotion or something that you have gotten by the divine. Somebody is just very jealous. They feel out in the cold by you. Stepping the swords. This is somebody who, like I said, you was you could have definitely been in a relationship with. And whatever they was doing to you, how this person was hurting you, lying, being a player, playing these mind games with the page of cups in reverse, somebody wasn't even apologetic. You know, they didn't even, they didn't, they wasn't apologetic what they was doing. They were not. What's the seven of swords? Seven of swords? Yeah, the moon card. I'm telling you, they hated moon. Somebody was very secretive. Like, and, and, and the page of cups are being in reverse. Somebody didn't even, like, they didn't. King of Pentacles, they didn't even care what they was doing. What's the, um, it's like somebody was only after somebody's stability and security. Two of Pentacles? Yeah, they only wanted to work with someone because of their finances. And I feel like you was the one bringing everything to the table, okay? Yeah, the Seven of Pentacles and the Knight of Wands. Whoever this person is i feel like this was a flighty energy this somebody was like a player type you know want to come in you were driven off a of passion and you know um the nine of wands is somebody speaks about a player okay somebody who comes in for a good time but not a long time okay um this person seeing you invest and they see you doing very well and this is somebody who wanted to be a part of that and the way how they treated you then this person didn't even have no remorse like the moon card of seven of swords who the hell y'all was dealing with this person was mean yeah the sun card and the three of pentacles this is somebody who wanted to work with you because of some type of happiness or fulfillment that they seen you getting somebody felt like with all this, this this good luck and success and, and joy that's surrounded by you, somebody wanted a part of that. Yeah. Something could have been going on for a year, but Spirit is like, that is over with, okay? Let's get you guys some ancient messages on this little Sunday. <laughs> Give me messages, Holy Spirit. What a beautiful collective. Give me more messages. Close this up. Messages for the collective sun seeds. Thank you. Deception. I cannot make it up. Look at the seven of swords the moon. It's like, I don't know who this mean person was that you guys was in a relationship with before, but they were not nice at all. But what's coming in though? Empress to the Pentacles, Emperor, the Star to the Two of Wands. Mm, what's coming in? My nose itch is What's coming in? <laughs> Maybe. Woo child. Woo child. You might forget about that deception. Look, what's coming in? Coming in is true love. Okay? Yeah, you're calling in your soulmate. It says calling in your soulmate. And what's this? Release your ex. Yeah? Heart to heart conversation and new love. So there's a new love you're going to have a heart to heart conversation with. What's this? Attraction. Somebody very much attracted to you. Okay? Somebody very much attracted to you. For others of you guys, like I said, if you've been single, this is what's coming in. For others of you guys who, you know, you dealt with somebody who was very deceptive before, I don't see, I, I, I don't pull a lot of these cards and I ain't see the Six of Cups not one time. Um, oh, now I see, you know, Bobby going like this, but somebody from your past that you walked away from, they want to come in and speak some type of truth to you. Okay, this could definitely be somebody, like I said, you was on two different pages with, they want to speak some type of truth and clarity um to you but being at the six of cups didn't come out you know just be make sure that this person um have changed but with the child card in reverse coming out i don't um, i don't know i don't feel like they have okay child card in reverse i just see somebody with some hidden motives let me feel from this back give me more holy spirit on this energy thank you yeah somebody is addicted to you with addictions this person you could even be finding out this person have some type of addictions maybe they hit it Fathers of you guys, what was hidden, the deputy was exposed this year. You know that this person got a heavy addiction. Yeah, 
and balance and integrity. I feel like you was giving too much to a situation. You pulled your energy back. You separated yourself because it didn't align with your values and your morals. And um, I feel like you had to be, you know, you know, be patient for a while to things balance out because there was some type of delays. You know, somebody was trying to cause for you behind the scenes. There was something about them. Yeah, faith and acceptance. Yeah, you had to accept things for what it was, you know? Yeah, you had to accept things for what it was, and I feel like you did just that. Yeah, and you set up boundaries with this person. You learned the lesson, Sunsteen. You learned some type of lesson here. Let's get you guys um, some, some letters. Let's see what comes out. Some letters over here. So we have I and L. I and L. Oh, we have I and M again. Okay. We have two I's and then we have M. So we have I, I. Yeah, so I, I. Like somebody could have been like, ah. So somebody could have been playing victim with the pages towards we kept seeing. Maybe somebody kept playing victim. They kept lying to people and saying, oh, they did this. They spread, like, they could have been spreading rumors. Like, they did this. It was just, they did this. They did this. And then it's like, with the pages towards whoever that was gossiping to you, um, gossiping about you gossiping to about you these people came and look and watch you and they realize that you're doing your damn thing and this person is just a hater they're a liar and they're very deceptive yeah like ay 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 Marsha 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 <laughs> like what the hell yeah, I'm over there moving give me more Holy Spirit we have A so somebody in this could be A Give me more for the spirit. Somebody in this could be R. Mm -hmm. So we have A. So we have A and N, I and L, I and M, R and E. Mm. And we have K and O. Okay. Anything else for the spirit? Yeah, people like, oh no, you just was a hater. We had Y and D. Okay, so A I R. Something get aired out. Aired out, aired out. Yeah, somebody is aired something out. Maybe this person this person is getting exposed. People are seeing this person for who they truly are. Like, no, nah, you were just hating. K I Y. Kai, somebody name could be Kai, Ear, anything else in the spirit, any more issues? We have C, C and Z, and we have E, so R, E, R E somebody name could be red. Somebody name could be something could be about air, something being in out. We have K I Y Kai. Um D I C Nick. D I C K. You know what? Dick, you know what? Wait, somebody oh sh so somebody could be airing something out about somebody's private part. You know what? I'm not playing with y'all teeth. <laughs> oh, sweat. So somebody could be getting exposed publicly because we've seen the six to one. Somebody could be airing something out about somebody's private part. You know what? Sunsees, let me get you guys. I had got these, um, I had got you guys a bunch of fortune cookies. I said, I'm going to start doing this on the readings. Whenever I remember, Sunsees, let's get you guys fortune okay. if you remain silent you will never uncover the truth wow so it says, if you remain silent, you will never uncover the truth. You want to screenshot that? If you remain silent, 
you will never uncover the truth. So maybe you spoke out, you said something. Maybe you was quiet for a while and people didn't know what was going on. And somebody kept could have just been blaming you because you seen with the I I I was like I I I like this somebody who kept blaming like it, it it just happened to it, it happened to me. Like I kept hearing like Marsha, 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 Marsha. Like somebody just kept playing a victim and it just like people didn't know because maybe you were somebody who just like, you know, I'm not gonna feed into that. You know, you know that love outright hate, you was gonna continue to let somebody, you know, just pop they shit, do what they, you know, do what they do. But it says, if you remain silent, you would never uncover the truth. So maybe you decided to speak up for yourself, and when you spoke up with the AIR, you started airing things out, and now people see that this person is very deceptive, they're very, they're a liar, they play too many games, it's like people are noticing stuff about this person. Or because you decided to speak up, you decided to speak your truth. Yeah, it says if you remain silent, you will never uncover the truth. So maybe you had to speak out, and it might be something new for you because you used to just letting things play itself out. But it was something about this situation that spirit wanted you to speak up. Yeah, set boundaries, speak up. And this could have been somebody who did this to multiple people, but you was the one that was gonna finish it. I heard finish them. You know what? Okay. Um, okay, we have numbers, some so we have 1, 17, 28, 33, 54, 57, okay? So maybe you guys want to play this, numbers. Um, again, I'm going to read it. We got number 1, number 17, number 28, number 33, number 54, and number 57, okay? And let's get you guys. Let's get you guys some signs before we close this out. Holy Spirit, give me some signs. Give me some signs for the collective. Libra and Aries came out. Give me some signs, Holy Spirit. Give me some signs for the collective. Ooh. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Okay, so we have Libra. Again came out. So something is about a Libra. Uh, yes, I. We have Capricorn. Something about an earth sign, Libra, Capricorn. Give me more, Holy Spirit. Give me more, please and thank you. Oh, okay. So we have Pisces. Somebody could be a Pisces. And we have Virgo. Somebody could be a Virgo or Pisces. Give me um, oops, chat. Cancer one to come out. Give me one more, Holy Spirit. One more for the beautiful collective sunseeds. One more. One more, Holy Spirit. Thank you. And we have Taurus. So somebody could be a Taurus. And under the bottom sunseeds, we have Scorpio. Okay? I love you guys so very much, sunseeds. I hope this reading was able to help you guys, give you guys clarity in your situation. It's going to be different for all you guys. Okay? Um, Just take what resonate. But I, I'm definitely... um. You know, hope that I gave you guys clarity, so seeds. Okay, let me know in the comments. Let me know what's going on. Okay, let me know what's going on and claim this good energy. Okay, claim this new abundance. Okay, this divine um, connection that's coming in. Okay, whoever you are, you've been through a lot. You know, and then on top of that, it's like you were somebody. You stayed quiet. It's like people was talking about you, gossiping about you. And you were just letting, you was like, you know what? I ain't going to say nothing. I ain't going to say nothing. Okay? And then you finally said something. The moon card. You aired all that shit out. You aired it out. You aired it out, son. See, it's like you had to stick up for yourself. And maybe that was something that, you know, you're not used to doing. Okay? I did see the Gemini card um, right here behind Scorpio Energy. Gemini rule communication, okay? Maybe in, uh, with the child in reverse. Maybe in a past life, um, you were someone who did uh, who had problems with communication. Maybe you just let people run over you or, you know, things will happen to you and you will just, like, um, disappear and never speak your side of the story. Um, 
And maybe in this lifetime, spirit is saying, you know, we're not doing that anymore. You have to speak out. You have to let it know. You have to be, you don't have to let it um, air it out. Let it be known what was done to you. Okay? And I feel like someone is doing that. People are seeing that. And people are seeing this person as for who they are. Okay? I love you guys so very much, Sun I hope this reading was definitely able to help you guys again and give you guys clarity. Okay? Definitely claim this, this newness that's coming in. Okay? A period. I play those lines. Play those numbers. Play those numbers. <laughs> yeah. I love y'all.